Okay, just uh, I, will, I will read the last line, then the whole text and the options. Okay, this patient should be advised to do which of the following. Okay, what is the, this? Was the uh, last line? I'm going to read the whole text. A uh, 57 year old uh, with type 2 diabetes mellitus came for follow up uh, position for a follow up evaluation. He was recently diagnosed with hyperlipidemia. He takes lots of medications, several medications. His cholesterol is 295 and LDL is 19. It, HDL, HDL is 19. It means really low. Cholesterol is high, HDL is low. Normal HDL is uh, above 40 in men and about 50 in women. This, this patient's HDL is low. The physician prescribes an additional drug that decreases hepatic production of triglycerides and reduces release of LDL and LDL through the inhibition of diacylglycerol acyl transferase. Okay, this the, the doctor adds another lipid lowering agent that decreases the production of VLDL, uh, sorry, the production of triglyceride and release of VLDL and LDL. Okay, when you prescribe this medication to the uh, patient, uh, what should be advice to follow for the patient? Which what uh, what should we say about the for the patient and what should uh, patient follow? Okay. Uh, vitamin called niacin. Niacin decreases VLDL, LDL, and also uh, decreases the triglyceride. But uh, the good thing about HDL is uh, niacin is that niacin can increase HDL. But just I want to add one important thing here that these medication decreases uh, LDL, VLDL, and triglyceride. I mean niacin, and also increase the HDL. But it won't, uh, it, uh, it can't increase the patient's survival. For example, a patient with hyperlipidemia or a coronary, or, I mean, for atherosclerotic disease, it just it cannot increase survival in the patient. The only medication that increases survival in patients with, uh, with hyperlipidemia is statins. Statins increases survival. The remainder, the, the remainder just only decreases the level of. Uh, cholesterol and triglyceride, but the, it, it, it cannot inc increase the survival. Okay, uh, what consideration we need to take when giving uh, uh, this for the medication, Yasin? What should we do, doctor? Uh, take aspirin shortly before taking the new drug to reduce pruritus. Schedule a follow-up in two weeks to check serum creatinine. Take diphenhydramine to prevent skin rash. Avoid smoking for risk of thrombosis and check blood glucose. Uh, to detect hypoglycemia. What do you think? Which one is uh, which one is the side effect of uh, which one is the side effect for the um, niacin? Which one is the right option? Just comment below down. Okay. Okay, no one has commented there. Just uh, the answer here is that uh, because the risk of uh, production of prostaglandin, niacin increases production of prostaglandin. Uh, it causes uh, vasodilation, pruritus, and flushing, these things. And uh, that's why we should take aspirin uh, to, to decrease the pruritus flushing. And, and this patient, that's a side effect. That's the, answer, the right answer is choice either. And uh, uh, you know, there were multiple ways uh, to, to decrease this side effect. I mean, flushing pruritus and the uh, people who takes niacin, uh, they can take aspirin and they also can use can take niacin with food or they can use uh, or maybe they use. Uh, um, you know, uh, when when the doctor uh, uh, give them the uh, um, niacin, you know, if they if they give in, in in a prolonged way, in a prolonged uh, time, that's also a way to, to uh, this uh, the side effect will go away by itself. But the the best option here is choice A. Choice B, keratin kinases for rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis. Uh, is the side effect of statins. We should check it serum creatinine kinase for rhabdomyolysis. Uh, that's statins, not niacin. Diphenhydramine, skin rashes, for example, urticaria, these things, or maybe 
uh, Redman syndrome we have for vancomycin. Um, smoking because of the increased risk of thrombosis. Smoking uh, should be avoid people who take uh, oral contraceptive and that should be avoided um, and we should advise the people who take oral contraceptive to avoid smoking because of their risk of thrombosis, deep vein thrombosis especially. And niacin causes hyperglycemia, not hypoglycemia. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.